Elon Musk spoke about breaking even in the second quarter of Tesla's 2020 results. Tesla CEO Elon Musk sent one of his characteristic motivational emails to all employees at his electric vehicle company on Monday around noon California time just a few hours ago telling employees, quote, breaking even is looking super tight, end of the quote. Now, what does he mean by breaking even? And what can it mean for Tesla's second quarter 2020 results? Welcome back, dear Torque News subscribers and viewers. This is Armen Harayan from TorqueNews.com with a developing breaking news about Tesla CEO Elon Musk's today's email to employees and what he may mean by Tesla breaking even in the second quarter of 2020. This is going to be very surprising. But before we get started, please subscribe to our channel, ring the bell so you may be notified when I bring more updates on this developing story. Tesla CEO Elon Musk sent one of his characteristic motivational emails to all employees at his electric vehicle company Tesla on Monday round afternoon California time round noon. In the email which was shared with CNBC, he urged workers to quote unquote go all out with vehicle production and deliveries and told them that quote breaking even is looking super tight let me read this without saying quote unquote so you fully understand so in this email which was shared with cnbc he urged workers to go all out with vehicle production and deliveries and told them that breaking even is looking super tight it is not clear whether breaking even was referring to the company's profit margin, which may require it to sell a certain number of vehicles during the second quarter of 2020, or another metric like production numbers versus expectations, or production numbers versus quarters figures. So again, while it was not clear what Elon Musk meant by Tesla breaking even in the second quarter of 2020, it could be one of these three things. First, it can refer Tesla's profit margin, which may require it to sell a certain number of vehicles during this quarter. Second, it can refer to Tesla's production numbers versus expectations, Wall Street expectations or analyst expectations. And third, breaking even for Tesla CEO Elon Musk could also mean Tesla's production numbers versus previous quarters figures. So which one it think? What do you think which one it is? What do you think Elon Musk meant when he uh, wrote the Tesla employees today that breaking even is looking super tight. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section, friends, in the comments. Let's continue the discussion there. Now, Tesla is expected to report its second quarter vehicle production and deliveries numbers this week before the 4th of July weekend. In its first uh, quarter earnings update this year, Tesla walked back prior guidance saying that it has capacity installed to hit 500,000 vehicle deliveries in, uh, in 2020, but remains uncertain how quickly its US car plant and suppliers can ramp up production following the restrictions related to this virus uh, to this virus so you know it's not only tesla but also tesla depends on the ramping up of production of its suppliers so that's why tesla said it remains uncertain at that time tesla also said its near-term profit guidance was on hold dampening hopes it may achieve its first full year of profitability the company is gunning for inclusion on the S&P 500, which requires a minimum of four consecutive quarters of profitability. Tesla has reported profits in its last three quarters. Earlier this quarter, Tesla's main manufacturing facility in Fremont, California was shut down for more than a month as officials ordered non-essential businesses to shut down to slow the spread of the virus. Tesla and Elon Musk clashed with officials over the restrictions and resumed vehicle production shifts the second week of May. 
days before the county would green light the company's site specific plan to allow employees back um, at work if you remember tesla even threatened to move its headquarters to texas and it may be still going to that direction but we will find out in the near future so please subscribe to our channel so because we're going to uh, keep our fingers on the pulse of this story and we will let you know if anything happens in that regard the company is producing its latest model y right now crossover model y crossover suvs in a massive tent where it previously made a portion of its model 3 electric sedans in the tent known as ga4 or general assembly 4 workers make cars with more manual processes rather than the sophisticated robotics and extensive automation they use in an indoor part of the plant in the first quarter of the year tesla said it delivered around 88,000 vehicles including combined deliveries of 76,200 Model 3 sedans and Model Y crossover SUVs and combined deliveries of 12,200 of the older and more expensive Model S and Model X vehicles. It produced about 14,000 more cars than it delivered in the first quarter, making a total of 102,672 vehicles. Here is the email in its entirety transcribed by CNBC. The subject is down to the last few days. Everybody from Elon Musk, date June 29, 2020. Here is the text. Breaking even is looking super tight really makes a difference for every car you build and deliver please go all out to ensure victory thanks elon you see please go all out to ensure victory and selling every car building and delivering every car matters that means they're so close to break even in the second quarter but again i don't know and we don't know what breaking even means in this case does it mean just breaking even financially or uh, breaking give even compared to the uh, street expectations or breaking even even compared to the results of the last quarter last week torque news reported that tesla could surprise with strong deliveries in the second quarter despite the factory shutdown and slow first half of the quarter due to the global uh, virus and restrictions put in place to slow down the spread in the email the tesla ceo referred to a possible quote-unquote good outcome which now appears to be the possibility of tesla breaking even in the second quarter of 2020 it would be a major surprise since wall street is currently estimating a loss of one dollar 45 cents per share during the quarter last year tesla turned a profit and elon musk said that he believes the company would be able to deliver a profit or break even every quarter going toward uh, going forward aside for any major economic downtown downturn the current situation would certainly qualify as a major economic downturn, but the CEO now appears to indicate that Tesla could be resilient enough to break even despite the virus. In comparison, Ford is guiding a loss of $5 billion in the second quarter of 2020. Now, there is this new email from CEO Elon Musk claiming that Tesla is close to breaking even in quarter two. Friends, I think it is remarkable that the breaking even is even a possibility for Tesla in the current climate, but it's not done yet. Again, Elon is talking about the last few days, less than two really being very important. As we reported last week, there were 8,000 to 10,000 vehicles in transit and Tesla is having some logistical issues delivering them. It sounds like Tesla would need to deliver most of those cars by the end of tomorrow in order to break even or possibly turn a small profit. Since Tesla doesn't use the franchise dealer model, it owns all its cars until it is handed over to the customers. Those vehicles in transit represent over $400 million in revenue that Tesla already paid to produce and now needs to recognize by delivering them. Therefore, 
we wouldn't say that it is it it it's it's a big bag it's the bag but even if they come close to breaking even it would be a quite positive thing tesla employees that are going all out during those tough times should be commended for their effort they should be commended for their work i hope tesla go give do give them their bonuses now keep in mind friends fremont factory was shut down from march 23 to may 18 so breaking even in quarter two of 2020 is no small feat tesla has had only a little over six weeks to make up for the lost time however on the other hand as someone noted in Electrix discussion board, shutdown doesn't have a huge impact since they stopped paying factory workers and buying parts. They also cut salaries and eliminated bonuses, except Elon's, of course. There were reports they stopped paying rent in malls and such that were closed, as did many others, and there are special depreciation rules for factories taken out of service. Finally, they had 30,000 cars left over from quarter one that were available to be sold in quarter two and help offset the shortfall. Um, people think they'll actually deliver more cars in quarter two than quarter one. Um, let's see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm on board, but I'm also a little skeptical. But let's see. But it should be close. It should at least be close. Last but not least, regulatory credit revenue and deferred full self-driving revenue are also 100 100% margin wild cards what do you think about this friends do you think uh, tesla will break even and if yes what would it mean breaking even financially breaking even uh, break means uh, meeting the expectations of the street of wall street or breaking even means uh, uh, being uh, the same numbers as it was in the court uh, last quarter let's continue the discussion be uh, be uh, be below in the comment section and in the meantime please subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell because right after this i'm going to report a really breaking story from tesla giga berlin something very interesting happened at giga berlin today this afternoon on monday and i'm going to report that right after this see you soon in the next report friends god bless you take good care of each other spend time with your families and whatever tesla reports will be just fine have a great day